first time all over again Hold on tight to the feeling but it's a roller coaster in my head So I'm holding myself on a precipice and I've been dreaming off the ground So I'm looking for something that's definite I'm praying you don't let me down It's gotta be it's gotta be all or nothing, all or nothing So in this video we are gonna make a search page using Elementor Pro. So for making the search page using Elementor, uh, we uh, we are gonna make this such type of page. Okay. So here you can see that uh, it is a form, and uh, it is a simple input form. And when we enter something, it will search up. Uh, uh, it will search something for you. Okay. So let's make it from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to make this. Okay. Let's cancel it. Let's refresh the page. And once I refresh the page, this form will go on. Okay. So this is the my website and in this we're gonna make a search feature Okay, so for making the search feature uh, we need some plugins like uh, Elementor and Elementor Pro Okay, so first install this plugin and come back So for making the so for making the search page uh, Let's make the search page on this home page Okay, uh, You can add the search page anywhere you want according to you in the header and footer and wherever you want to add okay so i'm gonna add the search page below this main banner of the new arrivals or you can add in the header to wherever you want using elementor so let's open the page in the elementor and uh, we're gonna make a search page also for this okay from scratch we don't wanna use the default uh, WooCommerce shop uh, search page which is uh, very ugly in looking we're gonna make our own search page okay so for just go to here widgets option and uh, go and search here search when you search it you will see that there is a search form and just drag and drop it here so here uh, here you can see that there are uh, skins so the first skin is the classic one so you can see that this is the classic one and you can also customize it according to you you can change its background color okay so you can change its background color you can also change the placeholder color so for changing the placeholder color i think uh, okay so go to buttons and here you can see that there is a text color let's make it white okay okay so this is also changed let's make it black so this is also here okay so this is the search and if you want to change the uh, and if you want to change the this so you can go here and change the test color according to you let's make it a little bit sky blue and when you make the sky blue you can see that the text inside uh, what we call it placeholder yes the placeholder is changed according to it okay so you can fully make according to uh, according to you the way you want so uh, here is the style option for the button option and here you can see that you can increase the icon size and all so play with it and change it according to you okay so this is the first search page so let me add uh, let me duplicate it and uh, i'm going to show you one more skin so let we take the second skin which is the minimal skin and here you can see that after adding the minimal skin uh, well, let me do one thing let's delete it and add it from scratch because if I duplicate it, it will show the previous styles also. So let's uh, let's change the skin and make it minimal. So once you make the minimal, so this is the style, okay. And uh, let's uh, add an inner section. Let's uh, add an inner section, and and in this I'm gonna try the last skin, okay. So let's uh, make this here, okay. So I'm gonna do one more one thing. Let's search search our product search our awesome products okay so this is uh, let's uh, change this font size a little bit because it is too big okay so let's make it this 
okay so this is looking good and uh, just uh, make it here okay so let's search the widget and we're gonna add the, add the search feature here so let drag and drop it and here you can see that it will come so when we go to the full screen mode the last skin you, uh, you, then you can see that here the icon is coming so let me fix it below or you can do one more thing just uh, go to here and change its width change the width to 500 okay this is change the width to 300 okay so play according to you let's change it 700 okay okay so this is looking good so if you want to make it center go to middle make it middle and here also click it and make it middle okay so let's update the page and we're gonna see the search all the search which we added on our home page okay so first uh, when i uh, so when i refresh the page uh, you can see that there are one second and this is the third one okay so let me try the first one so the look and feel of this is very different if you search something okay and when you go to the second one it, uh, you can see that the look and feel of this is also very different and the last one which i like always uh, if you click on this uh, it will uh, it will open a new page okay so when you search here anything uh, let me search cycle so when you search here cycle it will go to the search page and here you can see that the search feature is working very fine but the layout is very ugly so we're gonna make this from scratch okay so let's go back so this is the way you can add a search feature so there are multiple skins the skin which you like you can add according to you i always like the last one okay so let's make the search page so if you search also here let's search in the first one middle one if you search here uh, you uh, you can also see that uh, it will goes to this search page okay so our all the skins are working very perfect so let us make a new search page from the scratch because the um, because the default search page is very ugly so let's make it from scratch so for making it scratch you need uh, elementor pro okay so let me go to the elementor and uh, below there is template option then go to the theme builder option so when you go to the theme builder option in the theme builder let's close it okay so in the theme builder option you can see that there are multiple options so let's go to the search result okay so when you go to the search result you can see that there is an add new option uh, let's add new so let me wait once it opens so uh, so here you can see that it is open and uh, let us make the search from the scratch so for making the search page, let's grab the first container and uh, let's uh, give some background color in it let's take it red okay let's take it red or we, or we can take it blue but i am gonna take it red okay so take it take the color according to you okay so here you can see that the color is changed uh, let me go to the here and change its height let's make it minimum height minimum height then go to widget section and just uh, drag and drop the title and make it center and change its content search page just name it search page and whatever you want to name so let's go to the color option and make it white okay so this is the main adding and for adding then and for uh, showing our search result we're gonna make this uh, we, uh, we're gonna add a uh, one more container and go to here and just change this height uh, no i'm not gonna change the height go to advance and add some padding above and below let's add a padding of 100 above and add a padding of 100 to the below okay so this is the okay so for displaying the search result uh, you can also use the archive post so i'm gonna use here the archive post so let's go here uh, because i'm gonna show the search result in a grid form okay so it will come here so you can see that it will uh, uh, it will automatically generate for you okay so if you go to here uh, uh, you, uh, you can see that there are so many skins 
so the first one is the classic and the second one is the cards if you go to the cards option it will show in this one i think this is looking very good okay and when you go to the full content it will show the full content okay so i don't recommend to use the full content because it is so lengthy so uh, either go to the classic and either go to the cards uh, and i'm going to make one more video in which i'm going to show you how to make this from scratch because uh, this is coming default okay so i'm going to make this from by using loop grid of elementor so we will make this video in the next part okay so first uh, so this is the way and this is the classic way so choose according to you the way you want and you can also fully customize it according to you if you don't want to show the title just hide it and uh, okay and uh, and you can see that uh, the expert option the expert is what uh, the the content which is coming here below the paragraph one this is the expert if you want to make its length shorter or something you can go from here and make it okay and uh, and this is the metadata which is showing the below if you don't want to display this april 5 and all just close it i don't want to display it okay so i'm gonna close it and this is the read more button if you don't want to add the read more button you can do it okay there are so many options just play with it and uh, so the last one if you want to add some pagination you, you can go there and add some pagination according to your previous next load and click and infinite scroll and if you want to change the color and all you can go here and uh, if you want to let me first change to the cards okay so when you change to the cards you can see that this is a layout and if you want to add some column gap column gap and row gap you, you can add it from here you can add it from here and here are the so many customization option for the images cards and layout so choose according to you okay so i'm gonna save the changes and let me see uh, uh, and let us see the final search page of our website okay so this is saved so for saving uh, you have to choose some condition okay the first so like here you can see that if you go to the display condition here i'm going to sh uh, show all the search page on this Okay, just choose here and then save and close so when you save and close so let's get back to our website and refresh the page and when you refresh the page let's choose any search skin whichever you want let's choose my favorite the last one and let's search here uh, cycle cycle again so if you search here cycle it will display in the new search page which we made okay so here you can see that this is very good looking as compared to the default search page of the Elementor or whatever you call WordPress and so if you go here it will uh, it will uh, show to the main single page okay so this is the way in which you can customize all the except of your search page in the next video I'm going to show you how to make this uh, card layout from yourself from scratch by using Elementor loop grid okay so if you want that video let me know in the comment section Let's go to the metadata comments. Delete. Okay, let's save it again. Okay, let's refresh the page and one more time let's search for some products. Let's go to cycle. I'm doing this because uh, when I search in the previous, it will showing me the metadata also. Okay, so this time it is not showing any metadata and it is perfectly working. Okay. So in this way you can add a search feature in your search page and uh, I will also and I will always suggest to use the this is the last one because this is an icon and you can place it anywhere in the above or okay so choose according to you okay so in the so this is the video if you like our video please subscribe to the channel and share our video with your friends and please support our my channel if you want more awesome contents like this Okay, so I'm going to see you next time. Thanks for watching.